Hi everybody, I am Tim from Crozil and today we're going to talk about the different mounts and how to calibrate the lens test projector TP7. So first of all we are offering various mounts. Here we have just a very small choice of mounts. For example we have the PL mount, we have the LPL mount, we have the EF mount and we have the E mount. And as you can see, they all differ in their height. The um, back flange, we are changing that depending on the different mounts. So let's have a look on the PL mount and how to use it. So first of all, we insert them into the universal quick release we have and tighten them. Then afterwards, we insert the reticle into the reticle holder. And now we are ready to calibrate the lens test projector. To calibrate the lens test projector, you will need a measuring block. And we have here the, L, uh, the PL measuring block. And first of all, we want to set the measuring block to zero. So this way we have set the small arrow to one and the big arrow to zero. With that, we are inserting it into the mount so when I have done this, I can turn the back focus and I set the back focus to zero. I'm already calibrated on the front side. So in case you want to change the back focus, you have the gauge and the gauge you can now slide into the holder and what you want to do is since you can move the gauge up to two millimeters to the front. You want to insert that about two millimeter and then you can lock it. And what you do is you set the now the big arrow to zero. So I have a 2.1 here and a zero there. And then I when I change the back focus, I can always go back to that position. If you have ordered the digital gauge, you can use the digital gauge. And what you do is you set the gauge first to zero. Now slide it in and have it as well about two millimeters inside the system. And then tighten it and then set it to zero. And now the projector is set to zero and the gauge is set to zero as well. Now if you change from one mount to another mount, the length of the depth is set to each mount. So basically you can just swap the mounts. But since there are um, little microns of difference between these mounts, what we suggest is that you, for example, for LPL mount, you have a depth gauge for LPL mount to really set it to zero. If you are using, for example, EF or E mount, or maybe the um, B4 HD mounts, then we suggest um, that you don't have to recalibrate it because we always set everything to zero. Let's have a start. So what you do is we can insert the lens and now turn on the projector and are ready to check the lens. For any questions, please have a look at our website crozeal.com or drop us an email at info at Thank you.